You may have seen Square if you're out about in town, credit card processing company. Uh, it has a small uh, white swiper people swipe. But they also have, I don't know if people know, they also have a pretty big invoicing system uh, online where you can send payments to customers and invoice your customers. And we actually use that. Um, and I want to show you how to set up recurring payments. So the benefits of this, first of all, are it's twofold. One, for that customer, if you bill them the same amount every month, it's easy for them. They can even put a credit card on file. And I'm going to show you that in a second. And for you as the vendor that's charging a customer, you don't have to manually send an invoice every week. Um, you can just set this up automatically. So it's pretty incredible. So let's hop over and let me show you how to do that. So all right, I'm assuming that you're already familiar with Square and you already have an account. So if you're on your home page, you want to click over here to the invoice section. Um, so you'll be in your main invoice screen. You want to go and create an invoice. So when you do that, you set up an invoice here and put in all the information. You can also have a default message here, which you probably already know. If you don't, check that out. It's pretty cool. Um, here is the important part that we're talking about right now. So the frequencies. You can adjust this to set up a recurring invoice. When you do that, you tell it exactly what to do. So you can send them for a set period of time. You can never end. You can um, you say when it's due. You can say, okay, I want to start immediately. Or you tell it when to start, whether to send a certain number of days apart, weeks apart, years apart, months. So you set up the frequency that you want that invoice to automatically be uh, sent to your customer. Now what's cool is that customer can set up a credit card and automatically pay that invoice. So you can actually have it where it's literally passive. Uh, let's say somebody pays you 39 bucks a month to do X, whatever X service is. You can set that up using this invoicing system and have a recurring payment using Square. So you would check this option here, allow automatic payments with a card on file. So the customer would have the option to save a card on file that would be charged every month. Now know this, with Square, I think their normal fees are like 2.9% uh, plus 30 cents, I think, for invoices. If you use this option, it's a little bit higher. It's 3.5% and plus 15 cents. Um, the reason they do that is because there's a little bit of added risk to charge a card where the uh, it's saved on file, and so there's a little bit of added risk to them, and that's their reason for charging that higher fee. At least that's the reason that they give. Um, so let's scroll down here further. There's also some other options down at the bottom. If you wanted to add a tip the customer, they could. That's probably not going to be um, important in this. Um, but you also want to check this here. So allow the customer to save a card on file. So what that does is, so the customer can get the invoice on a recurring basis and pay the invoice. But they, if you check those two boxes, it will allow the customer to save a card on file if they would like and make it easier for them to, uh, to do that and have it passive for them. Also really cool if you have something set up, I mean, not that you want a customer to forget about it, but if you have a product or service that's really inexpensive and it's easy, if you're a, a marketer or something and you have a group that somebody's in, uh, involved in, if it's 10 bucks a month or something like that, it's kind of like a gym membership, right? Like, okay, maybe you pay 20 bucks a month and you're like, yeah, I'll go. Well, even if you don't go, you're still paying for it, right? It's like Netflix, we all have Netflix. You probably watch, maybe sometimes you don't watch, but it doesn't matter, you're gonna keep paying for it, right? So recurring payments. So there's some benefits, there's some benefits to doing that. So. Um, hope that you got side note if you don't already use square uh, I'll pop a link down to it below so that you can you can join up the referral link I think you'll get some kind of deal or something um, but square is pretty cool for processing for payment processing and so if you haven't already uh, joined our channel if you don't know what we're about so my viewpoint is to not just think outside the box but to completely destroy the box okay hope you like this video feel free to like it if you did uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and, and, and your thoughts on Square processing or other processors. Obviously, PayPal is a huge one that's out there, but we've kind of converted that specific business over to Square. So subscribe to the channel if you'd like to get more videos from me. I am making uh, videos on entrepreneurship, online business, marketing, the adventure of life, those type of things. So not just thinking outside the box, but destroying the box.
Look forward to seeing you next time.